communicate through light. Communicate through sound. Communicate through body language. For animals to live, communication with their kind is essential. Many of their ways to communicate are instinctive signals to inform each other of their existence. Mammals can change their cries to communicate different information. Humans can use words to communicate complicated information to other humans. But the range that the voice can reach is limited. Signals such as sounds, fire and smoke have been in use for a long time to tell far away, but only limited signals can be given. In what way can information be communicated quickly, efficiently and over a long distance? Ideal communication means have been sought with the spread of society. At the end of 18th century, Europe was the first country to think of a way to communicate mechanically. It is called the chap telegraph and expressed characters by signs through the shape of a bracket. Every 10 kilometers a telegraph signal was built. Through this, messages were relayed over distances. This type of communication was faster than men, horse and post and could travel further distances. However, people were needed to move and control the large brackets and it was impossible to use in bad weather. In the 19th century, attention was focused on the electric current which is transmitted instantaneously through electric wire. Through this a method to convey information by the electric signal was created and the telegraph was born. In 1854, Japan received a Morse code from America. Each letter is represented by a combination of two codes. Ton and two. Pressing the switch on the transmitter according to its sign causes the current to flow and the electromagnet of the receiver attracts the iron plate. These codes are translated into words. This method was the first efficient and reliable way of communication through a single wire. Its popularity spread quickly through the world. Even so, a specialized engineer is necessary to handle the machine because it's not easy to use. People wanted to communicate through their own voices. At last a way to communicate through voice was invented. The waves of the voice tremble and the thin membrane turns it into a wave of electricity. The structure of phones is the same as it is today. When the thin vibrating plates in the phone vibrate, the pressure is translated into grains of carbon which can then be changed into a strong or weak signal. The voice communicated through the electric line enters the receiver. The electromagnet shakes the thin diaphragm and is returned to the voice again. At first it was only to a limited party, but now you can talk with anyone.
people wanted to be able to communicate wirelessly through the air. Radio broadcasting was born, which transmits information of sound to a great number of people. The vacuum tube was invented and it became possible to produce radio waves with high energy. It transmits the electrical signal of voice to a distant place through radio waves. Next to speech is conveying pictures by electricity. To do that, the picture is wrapped around a cylinder and divided into small sections and the change in the density of the lines is changed to the signal of the strength of the current. In order to send a picture far away, while turning the cylinder, send it as a single connected wire in the order of the wave of strength and weakness. The receiving end must do the same. The photo facsimile currently in use reads the light and shade of the 1 mm in about 5 lines of thinness and converts it into an electrical signal. This is called scanning, but much more electrical signals are needed to convey the image than audio. A television that conveys moving images creates one screen with 525 scanning lines. You can see this one picture moving at 30 sheets per second, one after another. There are two types of electric signals that convey sounds and images. One is an analog signal in which electric waves change continuously. And the other is a signal that flows and cuts like Morse telegraph. A pulse created by turning the switch on and off is called a digital signal. Signals are transmitted by repeating two numbers, 1 or 0, assuming 1 for a pulse and 0 for no pulse. Pulses can be made to respond hundreds of milliseconds per second by the function of a Kennel C. This is an L C, seen through a microscope. The digital signal runs at a super high speed in a circuit of just a few microns. Compared with analog signals, it can transmit a large amount of information at a much faster speed. The analog signal shows the flow of time through the continuous movement of the needle. Digital is more detailed and shown with numbers. How are continuous sound waves shown through a digital signal? Let's expand the waveform. We take out a part of the waveform of this analog signal and convert it into a digital signal. First, we divide consecutive waveforms with certain timing and translate the volume into numbers. To send these numbers as digital signals, it is changed to binary numbers of 1 and 0. As you can see, the decimal numbers are usually represented in this way as a combination of 1 or 0. 3 is 0, 1, 1, 4 is 1, 0, 0, 5 is 1, 0, 1 and so on.
The volume of the sound is shown through these numbers. Pulse signals are transmitted as 1 and 0. When there is a pulse there is a 1, and when there is no pulse there is a 0. Therefore when there is only 1 second, pulses should be sent. Digital signals have one more special characteristic in that it's resistant to noise. For analog signals, depending on the relay device, weak signals become stronger when sent over a long distance, but, when this happens the noise is also amplified. An analog signal mixed with noise cannot be restored if it collapses. Even if the digital signal collapses to some extent by noise, if there is one or zero, it is possible to read and play the original. The power of this superior digital signal was proved by a picture of Saturn from the planetary probe, Voyager. It was able to receive a digital signal from 1.5 billion kilometers away and transmitted a vivid image to a computer. To explore the surface of the Earth from space, remote sensing is used. Through this digital photos of the Earth's surface can be taken from satellites and transmitted to Earth. Although distortion of images due to various causes can be seen in the projected images, this image made of digital signals can be accurately corrected by the computer. How is this digital image different from ordinary pictures? This is an enlarged part of the Kanto region. One picture was divided into very small squares. Each one of these squares is represented by a number according to the reflection of the Earth's surface. The higher the reflectance the larger the number. The screen is divided into small sections and the brightness is shown by number. Furthermore the number is expressed by 1 or 0 and can be transmitted. Vivid images are reproduced by computers. Communication companies send world news to broadcasting companies and newspapers all over the country, quickly and accurately. Here, we are working on transmitting received information with digital signal. Characters of the manuscript are punched with the keyboard and converted into digital signals. The tape signal is read by the computer, and it is corrected into letters. If you convert all the information to a high-performance digital signal, you can exchange information freely by using the phone, television and facsimile etc. at the same time. Even at home, 
You can use various buttons to connect various information with a central computer. The first electronic signals, TUN and 2, has now become the newest digital signal and can convey a large amount of information over a large distance quickly and reliably, making our lives more convenient. Words are changed into letters. The unlimited wisdom and ingenuity of humans can be shared through communication, creating new dreams and making them a reality one by one.